Okay, YouTube. It's Killer Cowboy again. Now, I've been watching gobs and gobs of videos on the eSig. This here. There are so many people out there who have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, people think it's bad, it's toxic, uh, there's chemicals in it. Um, water is a chemical, just so you know. Um, it has a chemical composition. Uh, it's called dihydrogen monoxide. Um, you know, chemical is a definition for anything, really. Everything has a chemical composition to it. Um, as far as ingredients of the e-liquid, the stuff that causes the vapor to come out of the e-cig, mine is strawberry flavored, by the way, uh, the ingredients, I'm going to read them right now, propylene glycol, glycerin, artificial flavor, distilled water, and nicotine. That's it. That's all it says. Okay. Now, I've done some research online, and I've got some stuff that gives information about the two even slightly unknown chemicals in there, meaning propylene glycol and glycerin, okay, otherwise known as glycerol. Propylene glycol, PG or MPG, is a colorless, odorless liquid which is generally recognized as safe GRAS by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. In 21 CFR, uh, funky little symbol, 184.1666 for use as direct food additive. Under the conditions prescribed, it is approved by the U.S. FDA for certain indirect food additive uses. 2PG is used in cosmetics and as excipient, inert, solvent, or carrier in pharmaceuticals. Okay, so it's been approved by the FDA as safe. Glycerol, or glycerin, is one of the most benign organic liquids known to man. It is hype, hype, or I'm assuming that's supposed to be hypoallergenic, it might be a typo, non-carcinogenic, non teratogenic and non-mutagenic. It is metabolized quite easily by a process called beta oxidation. This process results in the production of CO2, carbon dioxide, and H2O, which is water. It is a quite normal, common, and natural catabolic process. The following is a few excerpts from a study called SIDS, Initial Assessment Profile of Glycerol Citation. Glycerol is of low toxicity when ingested, inhaled, or in contact with skin. The NOACE for local irritant effects to the upper respiratory tract is 165 milligram M3. Glycerol is of a low order of acute oral and dermal toxicity with LD50 values in excess of 4,000 milligrams per KW BW, I don't know what those mean, I'm just reading it. Uh, glycerol has low potential to irritate the skin and eye. Glycerol is not a skin sensitizer. Glycerol does not induce gene mutations in bacterial strains, chromosomal effects in mammalian cell cells, or primary DNA damage in vitro. Overall, glycerol is not considered to possess genotoxic potential. No effects on fertility and reproductive performance were observed. No further work is indicated by this study because of the low hazard potential of this substance. Okay, that's an actual scientific study. Now, if anyone has a problem with e-cigs, maybe you should do some actual research before you jump to conclusions about this product. Um, I'm all for forming your own opinion, but try to make it an educated one before you jump on the back of someone who's making a conscious health choice. Now also, a key point that I want to point out here is that these were not designed for people who don't smoke. Okay, They are not recognized as a smoking cessation device, however, they are recognized and designed as a healthier alternative for those of us who are in fact addicted to nicotine. It is an addiction. It is a physical addiction. I am addicted to nicotine. I enjoy it. My body has a physical need for it. 
therefore, switching to this, removes 4,000 chemicals, carcinogenic chemicals, from the nicotine that I inhale, which to me is a health choice. So therefore, my health choice is my own business, and I don't see how it's anybody else's uh, business to sit there and uh, go against me on it. It's my decision, and it's a much healthier decision. So anyway, uh, thanks again for listening. This is Killer Cowboy, out.